you know, anxiety or stories about having sex with girls in a onesie, like. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey, well, 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 what up world? Back with another one. Today we have a platter of poutine as requested by a couple of subscribers, but one in specific has been on me hard. And it's your lucky day because it's a nice rainy day. It's kind of cold and it's a fitting meal. It's nice and simple, super Canadian on a nice fall cold day raining. This is perfect. And I've been craving one. So uh, we got some crispy, extra crispy Cavendish fries. They are the bomb. They are hot out the oven right now. And living where I live, I have the hookup on the good. This is that Miami type shit in the 80s. You, you know what I'm saying? This is the real, that real white uh, cheese. So these are real curds for anybody who doesn't know what a cheese curd is. It's like a firm, supposed to be squeaky in the mouth like chunky curded curded cheese so we're gonna have to even distribute them curds I, I wanted to make this in front of you because I wanted you guys to you know just see the crave come together I love like, like, I love that's that's part of this whole food thing on the internet that I that I do like is the seeing the crave the food whatever we're doing come together so we don't want to go insane on the cheese we do want like quite a lot but an ungodly amount and then I got some gravy here I'm really hoping this doesn't run everywhere but I think it's going to and I'm gonna have a mess to clean up but we pour the hot gravy all over But yes, we do have a nice amount of hot, piping hot gravy. I might have to go a little conservative just because, oh, that's the whole thing anyways. Well, never mind. All right, we got it all laid out. It's looking so proper. Now, before I ruin it, according to, because, you know, the Quebecois, a poutine, you, you're not supposed to pervert it any further. This is how it's supposed to be traditionally classic. I love ketchup on it. I know it's going to piss a lot of people off, but you know what? Just to respect the naysayers, I'm only going to do half ketchup, okay? We can customize it because we're in our own house area. It's like ordering a pizza and getting half cheese, half with pepperoni, right? So we do half for me and half for you. I'll meet you halfway. Okay. I will try the unperverted side first. Just to respect the wishes of the poutine purist. Here you are. Looking forward to it. Wow, so good, so, so good. One more bite and I'm sorry y'all, I'm not trying to bring any negativity today. And this isn't necessarily gonna be negative, but I need to kind of vent today and just talk about some frustrations and things, some things that are happening happening within me that I need to express and uh, I need to get them off my chest in a sense. So I, uh, I used to use this channel I mean, I still do as a way for me to share my thoughts and opinions and you know 
just do something I enjoy, tell some wild stories and stuff, and then just like speak my truths. And right now there's just like this new truth happening within me that's kind of fucking with me actually being my truth in a sense. And I didn't really anticipate it to be a thing, but it is kind of a thing that's just happening within me and I'm just trying to figure it out. And essentially, to really like, just say it real quick, the point of it is, now that I'm back living here around family, like in close proximity to family and stuff and everything, just basically, there used to be not many people in my family or in my direct vicinity aware of the, my channel and what I do on the internet. And now that I've been back here, slowly but surely, basically, the, the, the secret's out for a lot of people. Like, there's a lot of people very close to me that are aware of what I do and what's what's going on here. And um, no one's passing any judgment. No one's even saying anything weird. No one's any bringing bringing it, you know, making me feel any type of way. It's nothing like that. It's more battling me with my own head of like how I have always preached, like, stay true to yourself, fuck the judgment of others, like, who cares what anybody is thinking about you type thing. And I still resonate and stay true with that, like, I really don't care about the opinions of those, of really anybody, I really don't. But I will say this, and this is what I'm realizing, is that it was easier to be more non-care when I lived in Toronto, in my own, like, bubble. People weren't so close to me. It wasn't, you know, seeing these faces. At a family dinner type thing, right? So... There's just that part of me where it's like, I want to still be able to share like all my innermost nooks and crannies and crevices of truth and oddness and weirdness and things that are going on with me and, you know, anxiety or stories about having sex with girls in a onesie, like just all the shit that I've divulged going to the sex club, like. my experience with drugs and partying, being vulgar sometimes, like, it's just a little different now when you're sitting at a dinner table and there's six people around that dinner table who are privy to, to this, you know, they've known you their, your whole life, so of course they're curious, and just as a human you're going to be curious, but especially when you actually are, um, uh, related to the person and you f you hear about this or you learn about it so now it's like basically where my head is at is like i'm sitting there thinking well how far like you okay, let's, let's say they got curious well how far did they deep dive back in my catalog of videos and just binge watch me and just like really uncover all these things that I've shared with you guys and it's easier to share with you guys because you're not at my dinner table you know what I mean and even if you were I think it would be easier because you're a stranger who organically stumbled upon this shit because you like it so you get it 
so we would just have a better chill convo about it whereas with this person it's like they're only learning about this thing that I do because they kind of filtered through it through my being around and then somebody mentioned it and da da da, da. And so it's just kind of been like messing with my mind is like if you're like looking across the table at somebody and you're having just like a general conversation, how much in their head is like the little circus of like, like, I know what you did. I know like you're struggling with this. I know where you're at, like passing their, their judgments like inside without actually saying it. But most likely that that's my overthinker insecure self thinking that and they're probably just chilling being like yeah I don't really care like what you like yeah I watched your videos yeah they might be kind of weird but honestly truly they just don't really give a shit Because if there's one thing I have learned about being an adult is that, especially a young adult, is that everybody else is just trying to adult and get and figure out their life and get their lives together and chase their dreams and shit or whatever they're, they're doing like they're just trying to you know like so like people are basically so preoccupied with their own adult shit that they like don't even have time to care about your adult shit so a lot of time it's just like us overthinking what somebody else is thinking about us like, like we even matter that much you know what I mean and nine times out of ten it's like they aren't and we don't matter that much Basically what I'm trying to get to and what I'm trying to like, where I'm trying to get my head at is like, I don't want to let the fact that these people are so close to me and their awareness of my thing stifle what I do on here. I don't want it to affect my energy on here. I don't want it to affect what I share on here. I just want to be able to still come on here and just be my authentic self, speak, free, speak freely about things that I've lived or I'm going through while I eat delicious food, entertain other people and, you know, maybe help you guys with similar struggles, issues, what, whatever, what, what may have you. So there's that. Um, I guess one more other little aspect to touch on is that within the people who the people like around me like none of them do anything either entrepreneurial or like internet based or social based or like public entertainment based like none like they all just work like more in the box jobs and I just I don't like to have to explain the internet and like what this is and like why to me it makes so much like sense like because the potential is 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 infinite in a sense like Gary V 
I true, truly wholeheartedly believe in like Gary Vee's philosophy of like you're one piece of content away from the entire trajectory or direction and of your life heading in some other crazy like way that you could never have anticipated that might pay like amazing dividends you know Like, I truly believe that. I, I feel with the internet, every time you're, you're creating content, in a sense, it's like a roll of the dice of, like, infinite potential of you could make a bunch more money than you thought you would, or you could just make your average money. You could go crazy, skyrocket, get a shit ton of new viewers. Like, you could blow up. You could get more brand deals. You could get a maybe uh, like one of these tv like a cooking show or whatever would reach out to you and be like i really like your personality and 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 obviously you have some some like dirty cooking skills like skills like come <clears throat> host this like food show or so, you know what i mean like there's just you're rolling the uh, the dice in terms of like your exposure to the world and you never know like what that ripple that strand might ricochet out and then produce a result that's so like mind-blowing to you that you would never have even thought of it yourself you wouldn't even have been asking for that it just might come your way and you'd be like fuck yeah i'll go do that that'd be amazing that's sweet that's like opportunities right where with like work in a normal style job it's like you know you're going to make x you're putting x into your benefit you're putting x into that your salary is going to cap at this next year you're going to get a dollar 25 raise you know your boss is probably going to shit on you tomorrow for some reason like just things like that like it's just two totally different worlds and i think like the internet is so young this the shit is just starting like this is the new boom like oil and gas was like this the internet is the new space of like fuel and creation and economy to some degree like i really it's just this shit is just starting out i think the internet's like what 20 years old <laughs> 20 years old like it's so young so I just don't like to have to explain like my vision, my end game, what I see with this, like where it could possibly go. Like, and also just the fact that it's fucking fun to me. Like I love doing this. Like I, I think it's what I'm called to in life in a sense, partly like I've always just been the talkative, funny, like outgoing type, <laughs> type of guy in school and stuff. Like I love going out partying. I love socializing. I love like living a more like nomadic rolling stone, like weird kind of life. Like I don't want the standard normal life. Like I love with this shit that it's a roulette of possibility all the time. So like, and that's what keeps me intrigued. And every, every day, like when I do this, yeah, there's a lot of repetition to it, but it feels like fun and new. Cause it's like, I get to create a new dish or like I get to eat something that's like, different than yesterday and, and taste dope and then I can also tackle a new topic for today or I can talk about a party story or I can talk about a hookup story or I can talk about anxiety or I can uh, just do an ASMR and keep it chill and quiet like I just love the variety and spice and flavor that this whole thing entails and that you can just switch it up constantly and I don't know I just that's more my the way I am I guess I've just never wanted a boxed standard style life so I'm at the point where I can't squeeze any of this back any more of this back I think I did a pretty good job well maybe I'll have one this last one cheese curd because it looks uh, you, you would have to be the longest fry of course right when I'm full But yeah, anyways, if you stayed for that, thank you, because when I get to, like, 
just get shit off my chest through here. It feels really good and like it helps me, I feel like. So yeah, if you listen to that and you agree to any, you know, any degree and want to chat about it, just leave you like your, your, you know, thoughts in the comments. So, um, that was delicious. Try a poutine. They're so simple. I know some places, different countries and stuff, it's hard to get cheese curds, but uh, if you can't, you can honestly just use like a nice mozzarella or something like that. It's similar and it tastes, you know, it's good. It's like a salty stringy cheese basically. So anyways, till the next one, you know what to do. We got to eat good, live well, and stay true.